Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Craig Peterson here on WGAN and online, craigpeterson.com slash YouTube. That's where you can watch me. You can see me waving right now. Hi to you. Uh, and see all of the episodes of today's show online. Also, of course, I podcast this and try and get the information out to as many people as I can. Well, before the break, we were talking about something that's a very big deal to me, and that is intermittent fasting. I think I've become one of the world's biggest proponents of the thing. Uh, it, it doesn't matter what kind of an illness somebody has. I always seem to end up saying, you got to try intermittent fasting. You just got to try this stuff because it just plain works. So what is it? Before the break, I mentioned some of the religious types of fasting. Uh, Intermittent fasting is basically you don't eat, right? That's what fasting is. Now, we're not talking about the biblical fasting, although some people do that where it's like 40 days and 40 nights with no eating, right? The whole temptation thing. What, what I'm talking about is a daily regimen, because what we're trying to do is keep our insulin under control. Now, remember, I'm not a doctor. I've read a lot of books on this. I'm doing it myself, as is my family. We've had excellent, excellent results. But you're going to have to check on this yourself if you're diabetic. Dr. Fung actually has a whole book written for diabetics and how to do intermittent fasting, and you're going to want to talk to your doctor about it as well because you're already down that road, but you can get off of it. Because Dr. Fung cured, I think it was every one of his patients, like 1,200 type 2 diabetics of their diabetes by doing one thing, and that is getting people not to eat. So we're going to talk about what that means in just a second here. But when you think about studies, there have been some studies done on intermittent fasting, and you can see behind me here, the reference to this particular study. In fact, I'm going to pull it up on uh, the desktop here. There you go. You should be able to see it. And this is from Fox News just this last week. Fasting diets may add years to your life as well as help you lose weight. New study suggests there are also similar things that are available, similar articles that are up on CNN and many other sites out there. And it may help you lose weight, but here's your problem. Who's going to pay for a study that says, don't eat, don't take medicine? In fact, don't even see a doctor, right? Who's going to pay for that study? Now, obviously, there's a lot of people who are sick, who need the doctor, who need the medicine, people who need to eat. And that's why you got to figure this stuff out for yourself. Now, here's how the basics work. There's two standard types of intermittent fasting regimens that people do. And there are, frankly, as many regimens as there are people. But the two basic things are, one, you fast for 16 hours, and then you eat during an eight-hour window. That's probably one of the most common. There's another very common one, which is almost the same, which is you fast for 18 hours and then eat during a six hour window. So what does that mean? Well, for most people it means you skip breakfast. So remember, you finished eating at like at six o'clock the night before. You should never eat after seven, by the way. But you finish eating at six o'clock, 6 a.m. the next morning, you've already fasted for 12 hours, right? And if you're doing an 18, hours, you know, what's noon? Noon's another four hours. So 12 plus four is 16. That's why it's kind of simple. So all you do is you skip breakfast. Now you can have black coffee, you can have tea, but you're skipping breakfast, which many of us have done, but you're not snacking. You're not eating a snack. You're not having that smoothie. You're not having that caramel mocha frappuccino thing. You're not doing any of that. Then you have lunch, and when you eat, you eat during a two-hour period. So the meal, uh, if you're going to have dessert, have dessert. Eat whatever you want. If you like bread, if you like pasta, if you like fats, if you like steak, eat it during that two-hour window. And then you can have one more two-hour window later on that day at about 4 or 5 p.m. 
you eat again, and then you're done for the day. Just doing that will change your life. Your cells will get a chance to rejuvenate, you will lose weight, and you will become healthier. Again, if you have any medical issues at all, make sure you talk to your doctor first, and you might want to talk to your doctor first before doing this anyways. But this is a great regimen, and I've tried it myself. I've been doing it, as I said, for a little over two years, as has my wife, as have some of my kids. And my brain is sharper. I'm even better looking, as you can see, at craigpeterson.com slash YouTube. And I am losing weight and losing it in a nice way because over two years, basically, I've lost, what, about a half a pound a week. Isn't that nice? And I can eat whatever I want. The question is when. I can eat what I want. It's just when I eat it that becomes an issue. So that's the, the first type of intermittent fasting that most people follow, which is a 16-8 and 18-6, which is the number of hours that you fast versus eat. Now, you don't eat for six hours straight, okay? I hope I made that clear. You might eat one or two meals, and each meal should be no longer than two hours. So you have your soup, you have your salad, you have your meal, you have your dessert, all within two hours. Then you're done. The other type is what's called a 5-2 diet. Very, very popular. 5-2 diet is where you eat normally for five days out of the week, and then for two days, Basically, you don't eat. Now, there's variations on this. We'll talk about that in a second. But the main idea is that your body needs a chance to recover and to recoup. And if you eat normally for five days, you're recouping at night. Because remember, no snacks, no, no snacks. You'll never have a snack again. But you can eat all the corn chips you want, whatever, but eat it with your meal, okay? You can have a chocolate bar. Eat it with your meal. Don't eat it afterwards. Don't eat it as a snack, okay? So you have your, maybe you could start with your Doritos, right? And then move into the rest of the meal. But we're trying to keep the insulin reaction down to a limited time frame. That's basically what we're trying to do. Now, the 5-2, some people will not eat for the two days. And the, by the way, those days should be randomized so that your body doesn't get used to a schedule. So those two days you're fasting can be what are called a fasting mimicking diet or fast mimicking diet where you eat less than 500 calories. So two days a week eat less than 500 calories. The rest of the time you eat normally. Now, what does this do for you? Well, wow, it's absolutely amazing. It could add years to your life. It could cure you of diabetes. It could cure you of all kinds of brain issues from brain fog through, you kind of name it, right? Senility, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, it, 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 the gut diseases that people have, celiac, the list goes on and on. I really want you guys to read up on this and study it because it's absolutely amazing. Doctors aren't really taught much about this. It's relatively new. As I said, that Nobel Prize that kind of led me into this is only three, maybe four years old. Okay, so it's all relatively new, but check with them. But I want to pull up here this thing from James Clear. Now, let me pull this up. Okay, so he has this little thing on his site that he calls the Beginner's Guide to Intermittent Fasting. And... Uh, he says, I skip breakfast each day and eat two meals, the first around 1 p.m. and the second around 8 p.m. 8 p.m. is later than Dr. Fung recommends, okay? But as I said, everyone's different. Then I fast for 16 hours until I start eating again the next day at 1 p.m. Surprisingly, since I started intermittent fasting, I've increased muscle mass up 10 pounds from 205 to 215, decreased body fat down 3%. He was at 14% body fat. He's now down to 11%. Increased explosiveness. He set a personal best with a clean and jerk of 253 pounds. And decreased the amount of time he spent training. Down from 7.5 hours per week to 2.5 hours per week. So he's cut his training by about, what, a, th a two-thirds 
and yet he's increased his muscle mass and decreased his fat. That's all that he did, okay? Uh, so he has this quick start fasting guide. I did not use any of his stuff, okay, but he has some good information. He talks about intermittent fasting, how it works. Benefits, number one, it makes your day simpler. Boy, does it. Because you're not making three meals. You're not eating three meals plus snacks, okay? Intermittent fasting helps you live longer. We already know about calories and calorie starvation, how you will live longer on a low-calorie diet than if you are on a regular calorie diet. Now, most of us don't want that miserable life of only being able to eat 500, 800 calories a day, right? Not me. I love bread. I like chocolate every once in a while, right? Uh, it helps you live longer, okay, and enjoying life. Your My joints don't crack walking downstairs. They don't hurt anymore. It may reduce the risk of cancer, and there's some serious studies out of Cambridge, Boston area, just last late last year, showing that a five-day fast every year will pretty much guarantee that you, you will never have cancer. It's just amazing. Uh, much easier than dieting. It isn't a diet. All you're doing is cutting out snacks and one meal a day for most of the time, right? Um, and he's got a lot more detail on this too, if you're interested. But he's got some schedules of different people do. I, I, I think you're going to like this, okay? There is a lot to know and understand here. But let me see. I'm going to bring that up. Okay, so here's our article again from Fox News. As I said, it's on CNN. It's it's kind of all over the place over the holidays. And this is a new study at Johns Hopkins University. Finds that diets involve intermittent fasting may add years to your life. And it's not just years. It's healthy years. Studies have linked fasting to improved metabolism, decreased blood pressure, and improved control of blood sugars. So take a look at this, guys, and uh, do a little exploration. Talk to your doctor if you're on medications, because this will affect your medications. Uh, if you are a diabetic, there are plans for you. Maybe look up Dr. Jason Fung out of the University of Toronto. Read up on his stuff and present it to your doctor. See what she says if this is the right thing for you. I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. I'm encouraging you to do your own research. You're listening to Craig Peterson on WGAN.